Hello students, welcome back to the next session of software engineering. In today's session, we shall be talking about the experiment number 6 in our lab, lab which is building the CICD pipeline using Jenkins. So, in the previous experiment, we have created Maven Java project and Maven web project using Eclipse and we have pushed both those projects into GitHub. So, in this experiment, we will be creating three pipelines in Jenkins. So, in today's session, we will be talking about how to create a CI-CD pipeline for Maven Java project which is there in our GitHub. First thing we have to do is to sign in into our Jenkins. This is how our Jenkins uh, dashboard is going to look like. So, in Jenkins, we can create projects. So, what do you mean by project? Project is basically, it's like a task or a job that you are giving to your Jenkins to automate uh, the things like building, testing and deploying your code. Okay, it's like set of instructions that tell Jenkins what to do step by step. So, whenever you want to check or release your software, you create projects inside your Jenkins. So, in this particular experiment, we will be creating two projects in which one is for the build, the other one is for the test. So, I'll be telling my Jenkins that in my GitHub, I have Maven Java project. Go take that project, automatically build it, automatically test it and show me the logs. This is what I'm going to tell my Jenkins today in this particular experiment. For that, you have to click on this new item. Okay, so this new item will allow me to create projects inside Jenkins. So, you, as you can see here, you, you have different types of projects that you can create in your Jenkins. Talking about the first one, freestyle project, this is generally used for any basic project type where you can build and test almost anything you want. Right, we will be using this freestyle project today. The next one you have is Maven project. This is generally used for building Java applications using Maven uh, where you can handle dependencies and builds. The next one you have is pipeline project where you will be uh, creating builds and deploys using uh, scripts. This also we will be using in our experiment. We will be creating scripts for automatic building and testing our project. The next one you have is multi configuration uh, project where uh, say suppose your project uh, is needed to be running on different environments then we'll be using this multi configuration project next you have is folder where you want uh, different projects uh, organized in different different folders then you can go for this multi branch pipelines so if you want to create builds for various branches in a single project then you can use for this multi branch uh, project and this is also if you want to organize all these branches in folders then you can go for this organization folder. So, these are various projects that you can create using Jenkins. So, today we shall be talking about how to use freestyle project because this is generally used for almost uh, all the different types of uh, uh, projects that you can create. So, the first thing I have to do is to give a name. So, I will give a name saying maven sam ma sample maven project underscore build. Right. So, I am giving like this because I want to understand that I am creating this project to automatically build a sample Java project. So, to understand that I am giving this name, you can give any name of your choice. Right. After that, you have to click on this freestyle project and click on OK. So, it will open you to the dashboard of this uh, freestyle project uh, where you have to give the information to your Jenkins as to what to be done under this freestyle project. So, this is your dashboard of your freestyle project. So, if you want to give description as to why you are creating this particular project, you can give it. Otherwise, you can simply scroll down. The next option you have to give is source code management. So, you have to click on this git where you have to give the link of the repository in which your project is actually there. So, I will go back to my GitHub. Okay. So, this is the repository in which I am having my Maven Java project. So, I will click on this code. I will copy the URL of this repository. I will go back to my Jenkins and I will paste this URL here. Okay. And I will scroll down and it is asking me what is the branch. So, my project is actually in the main branch in this repository. So, I will change it to main here. So, you have to make sure that uh, you are specifying the branch in which your project is actually. So, I will write uh, main here. Then after that, I will scroll down where I will go to build steps. So, under build steps, I will click on this add build step and I will select invoke top 11 maven targets. So, I am telling my Jenkins for building this particular project, use maven, use maven build tool to build this particular project. For that reason, I am selecting this invoke top 11 maven targets. 
Okay, so it is asking me for Maven version. I will click on Maven underscore home. You will get this only if you have properly configured your Maven to Jenkins, which I have showed in Jenkins installation. Okay, now it is asking for goals. If you remember, if you want to use Maven build, it has a proper life cycle where you first will click Maven clean, then Maven test, then Maven, I mean Maven clean, Maven install, Maven test and then Maven build. Okay, so the same uh, path will be followed here also. So the first goal will be clean. So I will say first clean. So whichever previous builds are there, you first clean it is what I'm telling. Okay, then again, I'm going to invoke top level Maven targets. I will click on Maven home and this time I will say install. Okay, so first I'm telling you clean and then you install is what I'm telling. Right, then after that, I have to scroll down. And this time I will click on add post build action where I will be clicking an option which is called as archive the artifacts. That means I'm telling whatever output you are getting after you are building this particular project, save that particular output. Okay, so what all you want to save? You want to save everything. So you say star star slash star. That means I'm telling whatever files you get, let it be log file, some some build files, anything, save every file and folder that you are getting as an output, okay, which will be used directly by the test, okay, then what I am telling is, again, I am clicking on add post build action and this time I am telling build other projects, so I am telling once you finish building your project, okay, then automatically you click on the next task which is called as test. So I'm telling you first build, you save all the output files and then automatically trigger test where your project will now be tested based upon the output that you are getting in this build. Okay, for that I'm, I'm building other projects here. Then I will say apply and it is giving me red color because it is I have not yet created this project. Okay, now I will go and create that project. So since I have not yet created, it is giving me that no such project exists. Once I create, you will not get this uh, red option. So I will say apply and I will say save. Okay. Now again, I will go back to the dashboard. Now again, I will click on new item and this time I will say sample Maven project test. So previously I have built a project called as build. Now I will be creating a project which is called as test. Again, I will click on freestyle. I will click on OK. Okay. So it's going to take some time to actually open the dashboard so this is the dashboard just scroll down so once you scroll down it is asking for source code management so this time you need not give git here because for already build you have given the repository address and in build only you are telling automatically trigger test also so again you need not give the address of your project here just scroll down and this time you say delete workspace before build starts. So you're telling whatever unnecessary files are there in the previous project, delete everything. So whatever you want, you already archived it. You have saved everything. Unnes the other unnecessary things will be automatically deleted here. Okay. Now next to scroll down and in add build steps. Now you will say copy artifacts from other project. So if you remember, I have saved uh, uh, my particular sample maven project build yes in sample maven project build i have saved the output files those output files will be used for my testing purpose so i am telling copy the artifacts from this build what artifacts all the artifacts so again say star star slash star copy everything from this build project okay but copy only if the build is successful so i say stable build only sometimes what happens is even if your build is failed automatically test will be triggered. So that means you're wasting your time. So I'm telling my Jenkins only if my build is success, then only you do this testing. For that, I'm checking this box, which is called a stable build only. Okay, then I will scroll down and now I will say add build step and I'll say invoke top level Maven targets. Okay, I will click on this Maven version and now this time I will say test. So in previous uh, project, I told clean and install. Now I will say test. Right. So after testing is completed, I'm telling save everything. So how do you save? Click on this add post build action. Click on archive the artifacts and say 
save all the output files that you are getting in your test. Okay. Now click on apply and click on save. Right. So now go back to the dashboard. Scroll down. You can see two projects are created. Mm -hmm. One is sample maven project underscore build. The other one is sample maven project underscore test. Right. So these are not yet executed, not yet built. So what happens is if you want to automate these two projects, okay, you want to automatically run both these projects together. For that, what you have to do is you have to create a pipeline. Now, what do you mean by a pipeline? Pipeline is basically a graphical representation of the continuous projects that you are executing in your Jenkins. So if you want to see whether everything is successfully done or not, you have to create a pipeline. For that, you have to click on this plus symbol here. Okay, and give a name. So I'm creating a pipeline for sample uh, maven project, say suppose underscore pipeline is the name. Okay, I'm telling build pipeline view and I'll say create. So scroll down. It is asking me for which particular project do you want to build a pipeline? So I will scroll down. My, my project is sample maven project underscore build in my Jenkins. So for this, I'm telling you, give me a graphical representation. I want to see how is this build and automatic testing is happening. So I will click on apply and I'll click on OK. Now you can see nothing is here. So when I say run in this pipeline, Okay. So you can see here when I said run, you can see two boxes are created. One is for Maven pro build, one is for Maven test. And you can see blue means the project has not yet started. Yellow means the project is now under execution. When it turns green, that means it is successful. It is saying that sample Maven project underscore build. Build now is successful. And if you refresh it, you can see that your build has automatically triggered the test, right? That means this basically a pipeline is telling me to mix, combine both of this, integrate build and test, right? By single run click, now I have created both these projects, build and test. Project that is there in my GitHub has now successfully completed its build. It has complete, successfully completed its testing also. If you want to see the logs, you can just click on the small box here. You can see logs here, whatever happened in testing and it says build successful and artifacts are also archived. Okay, so this build project will combine the projects together and in a single click called as run, you can run any number of projects together. And also it will give you a graphical representation in the form of these boxes. Make sure that these boxes will turn green. Say suppose the box has turned red. That means the project is not successful. You have done some mistake there. Okay. So this is how you have to create a Jenkins pipeline. In next session, we will be talking about how to build, test as well as deploy the project into whichever environment we want using Maven web project. Thank you.